This is the prolonged hormone profile. Inside the box is a set of instructions. You're going to fill out your personal information there. They're going to ask that you answer every one of these questions. On the back, we have average cycle, prolonged cycle. When you leave the clinic, you will know which one of these to do. If you're going to do the average cycle, you're going to put the start of your menstrual cycle here. You either do day one, two, three of your menstrual cycle. You pick one of those days, and then you put the date in which that fell. These are the vials that you will use like this says, vial one. So you'll find vial one, and you have to fill that up with saliva. And when you get through, you have to make sure that these are stay, these stay in the freezer. These have to stay frozen. And then you'll move on to vial two. You pick day four, five, or six, and you just continue until you get to vial 11. They're anticipating that you're going to have another menstrual cycle if that happens, make sure you put that date here as well. Now if you do prolonged, you skip the first, second, and third day of your menstrual cycle and you start on day either day four, five, or six. You pick one of those days and make sure that you put the date in which you do the test. Again, there's 11 vials and you will fill, out, you will fill all 11 vials. The only thing that they ask is every sample be done on around the same time of the day. So if you do the first vial at 5 p.m., try to do the next and the next between 5 and 6 p.m. Then when you get through, you'll put everything back in this box. Make sure you put your name and date of birth on every tube that you use. It's very important. There is a set of instructions read them thoroughly and you'll put everything back in the box and you'll send it out UPS this does not have to stay cold while it's shipped just while you have it